Hey, my name's Sarah. Now, one of my very favorite things, well, one of my children's favorite things is the decadent chocolate brownie. It's just on Cookie Doo and it's really simple. Um, and most of it I had in my cupboard. The only thing that I have to buy special for it is the chocolate. <laughs> because that's not something I'd try hard not to keep in my cupboard. So, oops, I'm gonna turn me off. So all we need to do is, we, it's on Cookie Doo, so just find it on Cookie Doo, start cooking, now I've already preheated my oven to 160. Now I've got um, a fan force oven, so I always back it off just a little bit, depending um, on your oven will depend on how much you have to back it off. But I always find that my oven's quite hot. So um, yeah, just be careful. Because <laughs> it's not great when you burn them. <laughs> okay, so next, grease and line my bowl. I've already done that. So... The best way I find to do it is I put little slits in the corners and it folds in really nicely. Um, so you don't have all those creases around the side of your brownie, which makes it look a bit dodgy. Okay, 400 grams of Rapidura sugar. I don't have that, I've just got raw sugar. So that's fine too. Next, pop the lid on and we're going to move that. So it's all preset for you, four seconds on speed nine. So right around the to the end. Next. Now you'll see how fine that is in four seconds. Can you keep taking that further? And um, you've got confectioner's sugar, so you've got icing sugar. So you only need to buy one sugar. So I've got baking powder, Dutch cocoa. Try and get the really good quality stuff because it makes a big difference to the end of your dish. Um, plain flour. Amy, my nine-year-old usually makes this, but she was a bit embarrassed to do it in front of the camera today. So five seconds. That's just giving it a mix. Okay. Now they just want us to set that aside and we're gonna do our wet ingredients now. Have to get the stuff off around it from around the blades. Okay, dark chocolate. Now I've used milk chocolate because the kids prefer milk chocolate to tell you the truth. It's not quite as healthy. Um, not that dark chocolate's all that great for you anyway, but anyway, in they go. Turn it on. Next. Two seconds, we're having a little bit of a chop up. It's not a um, dessert you'd make when someone is asleep on the couch. <laughs> okay, next, pinch of sea salt in. Next, 230 grams of butter. This will make it really rich and delicious. Okay. Next. Now we're actually going to melt this together and emulsify it. So it's going to go for two minutes, um, speed 60, and we're just going to go take it around to speed two. Okay, so hopefully you can hear me over that. So what we need to do is um, put that and then let it cool down a little bit. If you put your next ingredient in while it's too hot, it's going to cook your eggs because that's the next ingredient. Um, so I've got some beautiful homegrown. You can tell they're homegrown. Look at the colour of them. They're gorgeous. Um, but this is a really easy one for the kids to make in lockdown. Um, it's also in, in the, in the, in the, um, the heading of it decadent it's absolutely divine so if you put a nice wodge of this on a plate 
and um, serve it with some clotted cream or some really thick, gorgeous um, whipped cream, that would look just like, as good as any cafe. This is something, if I had a cafe, I would serve this in my cafe, without a doubt. It's beautiful. Um, if you're looking at buying a Thermomix to save you in lockdown, it's, be, it's really quite popular. I've sold quite a few this month, which is great. And because we're not going out, because we're not spending that extra dollars, um, having a Thermomix on your bench will save you even more money. So at the moment, I'm not going to the gym. I'm not um, going out for coffee. I'm not having my lunches. So that, even, you know, three coffees a week will pay for a Thermomix. At the moment, it's on 36 months interest-free. So you can get a Thermomix on your bench for under $17 a week. I know, that's insane. Um, plus, you get a beautiful gift. You get a, um, a Thermomixing for families. It's a beautiful cookbook that's got some really great ideas in it, especially if you're cooking for a bit of a crowd. And also, a Thermo server for free. And they're really quite valuable. So the gift... Oh, is worth $185. You get one of these and a beautiful cookbook. So these will keep your food hot or cold. Oops, we'll just go next. So we need to, we'll just take that off the, off the, off there so it'll cool down a little bit quicker. I'm gonna give, scrape down the sides in a minute as well. So this will keep your food hot and cold or cold for up to two hours. So I will make my ice cream before dinner, pop it on the end of the bench so as soon as the kids are finished, they can help themselves. Um, or I'll do a curry before a meeting, pop it on the bed bench with a cutlery and the crockery, and the kids just come along, help themselves, or husband will come in from inside and help. And they don't need to worry about heating anything up. It's just they're ready to go. Because in my house, a lot of, because there's always so much going on, they tend to eat at different times. Um, so I find these really handy and invaluable. There's, there's a whole section on, you know, what can you do with your thermo server? So they're really handy. Um, so yes, free if you purchase before the 30th of April. So you need to get in there and have a go. Um, it's been a really popular offer. So we'll just scrape that down. It's just a little bit of butter that's gone up to the edges. And you'll find that if you give something a bit of a stir, it'll cool down a little bit quicker as well. So I'm sure you all remember, you all know if you've got a Thermomix already, is you don't tap the side. Because the scales are in the feet, it will affect your weight, your, your scales. So if you want to tap something off the end of your spatula, just tap it on the side. Don't tap down. And the same with moving your Thermomix. Never drag it along the bench. Always lift it. There is a shop where you can get a special mat which you can drag it around. Um, but yeah, do not drag your Thermomix along the bench because you you wreck your scales and that's never, never handy. Okay, so what we need to do is, I think that is fine. See how it's not red, so it's not too hot. So we'll go next. We need to add our reserved cocoa mixture, which is this. See how fun this goes. I have an art of giving everything everywhere. My Thermomix is always in some state of fully dooly. What happened? <laughs> Especially when there's flour involved. So if that's you, you're not the only one. Oh, got someone coming in the back door. Probably a husband who doesn't know I'm recording. And we've got four eggs, slightly beaten from my little Australop chooks. We'll see what who it is. He's realised I'm recording and he's going around the other side. What a good husband he is. Oops, I missed something. Thanks, let's press it twice. Okay, four eggs. Insert measuring cup. 30 seconds on speed three. Oops. I've made a mess already. I'm 
done. Scrape down the sides. Reserved chocolate didn't save any back, did I? Okay, some beautiful natural vanilla mixed with the aid of a spatula. Next, doesn't really need it. Okay, we're going to pop this in our tin that we have prepared earlier. How glorious does that look? Get the folds out. Scrape it all out. The kid's going to be disappointed, but I don't really like them putting their fingers in where the blades are, so <laughs> I scrape as much as I can. So this actually has quite a long cook, so it's a long, slow cook. But you want it to be still nice and squidgy. You don't want it to be like a cake, so it's quite dense, so you don't need to cut it in really big big slices and as I said before with a bit of um really that double thick cream it is absolutely gorgeous definitely a treat so bake for 65 minutes on 160 insert into the center of a, 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 a skewer you know just like so you know it's cooked but I always do a little tap just in case there's some air pockets. Done.